Hey everyone, Luigi Brown here, and this is just a quick video showing off this Sonic Sprite Transformer that I just made, and how it's been it's able to work on Scratch. Now, as you can see, the sprite's loaded up. Nothing, nothing unusual. You can just move it around. Just your typical normal stuff, I guess. It's nothing out of the ordinary. However, it gets kind of weird once you hold space and press the flag, as then a water effect kicks in and everything is all wonky now as it moves around. Now you might be thinking, oh, you use multiple sprites. No, this is all still in one sprite. And it's not using pen. Well then, you might be wondering, how is it working on Scratch in the first place? Well, e as you can see when we first start it, each sprite is drawn. Each layer of sprites is drawn by each frame. I mean, by each sprite. It's drawn in by each sprite. So, if you go into here, the starting sprite is for when it starts loading up all the pixels. It will then load up each pixel one by one, constantly getting more higher and higher up on the body. Basically like if it was stamping it or tracing it. Like a ray tracer, if you've ever heard of those. And then, it clones them all up, and then you can move it around. But what else you can do with it is that when you first start it up, hold like left or right, it'll get pan sided to this side and vice versa. When going up, it gets squashed. And when going down, it's stretched. Now this is not exactly Genesis accurate, but it is sort of kind of like what it used to how they used to draw sprites like this. Because instead of just each line of code or each line of pixels being drawn out, they'd be instead it'd be each individual pixel being colored into a spot on a grid. And that's kind of what I've recreated here to create what a wavy kind of effects in Scratch. That's all I have. It's just a short video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Because it's one that I'm really proud of. And I think can be used in new things on Scratch in the future. If for some reason we want to make more effects like this. So anyways, see you guys later. <laughs>